Welcome to the Let's Watch Mark Mess Up on Camera version. This is Feeblings at Light Tan. And so it doesn't get my hand too messy. Which it generally does. I need to buy more gloves. That's not good looking. Anyway, light tan. Stay in the inside of the pockets. Because, who knows, somebody might take a peek inside there and take a look at it. I used to just use a Q-tip to do this, but good, good, that took forever. I still use the Q-tips for the edges and things like that. And the reason this doesn't go all the way out to the edge on those three sides is that's where glue is going to be. And we want to give that glue every chance it can get to penetrate into the leather and stick. And this doesn't always stain evenly at first, but as it soaks in, it'll look more and more even. But then again, this is the inside of the pocket Unless somebody's ripping it apart, they won't see it. I do not like to have all this excess down here on the paper. Because then it gets on the front, which will also get stained. However, it'll make some spots darker than others. And this stuff's pretty good. All right, there's that. It's the cash side. This is the card side. Well, if it gets where the glue's going to go, it's not a big deal. Just I usually put a double application of glue on this side anyway just gonna darken it up a little bit more. You've got these little cotton ball daubers, swab thingies, but I don't really like them. Oh, this is the the main body of the wallet. Sir, let's Uh, once I get these edges, I can lay it down with a little bit less fear of getting it on the paper. There we go. And like I said, this is just in case somebody peeks inside. You'll see a fairly uniform color throughout.
especially not they won't see it down this deep in the pocket because the pocket lays on here like this and you got to be really pulling things apart to look at it however we want it to be right I've seen where a lot of people will take this because this leather this is veg dyed it's called veg dyed and um or i'm sorry veg tanned but it uh stains really well but i've seen where people will take it and they will dip it they'll pour a tupperware pan out and they'll dip it in there it gets it a real good coat nice even coat but the problem with that is these areas here that i don't want stained for the glue they'll get stained and i'll just have to rough them up that much more and sand them down Now, this is going to be the, the side that shows inside the pocket. As you can see, if you overlap, it leaves streaks. But it stains pretty evenly once it all dries. And I'll come back and give it a second coat anyway. Got to allow it to soak in. I don't mind getting it on there now because the only thing it's going to get is the inside. But also kind of like the the wood grain, I guess you could call it, or grainy leather look. Personal preference. If somebody wants one with a nice solid color to it, where it doesn't have these little stain lines well then i would go ahead and dip it but that would use a lot more stain than i really want to use and it would wind up costing more either for me or the consumer but whatever somebody wants I will accommodate. Okay. These will both get second coats. You can see where this is. This stain is actually soaked through from the other side. This is going to be the main outer shell of the wallet. So I'll definitely give this two or maybe three coats to get it even. To refill my stain. One of these days I'll actually bite the bullet and buy leather that's already stained, but I'm not ready to pay three or four times what I'm paying for leather now.
All right, well, there they go. There's those th three pieces. And once this stain is on there, it's, it's on there pretty good. So I'll come back now and give them both a, both, all three of them another small coating. If that's even possible. And the longer this stain sets, the more it'll soak in and even out in its stripes. But, like all animal hides, there are imperfections, spots where the dye doesn't take as well. There are scars on some. And I'm, I don't know why, but this panel here is turning out a lot darker than that one right there. But this one will just get another coat, that's all. This will soak in really well. I can come back with a rig and wipe off the excess, but as fast as this is soaking in. There's not going to be a lot of excess. All right, if that darkens up enough, fine. If not, fine. But there those three are. A little bit of extra. away Let's see what kind of mess I can make here I hate wasting everything or anything I should say little drops okay well that wasn't too bad now to just let them dry up so And then probably tomorrow, I'll glue that and that to the inside. Let them dry overnight. And what we'll wind up with is something along this line right here. Cash goes in this side, cards go in here. Folds over, goes in a jacket pocket. Can we even do that? Yeah, go on like in a jacket pocket or wherever. But hopefully that will turn out kind of like that. All right, thank you. Y'all have a very blessed night.